Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm attending the AfriCity event here in Abuja, Nigeria. I believe the topic is very important and I'm looking forward to engaging and discussing all the important issues of African internet governance. I want to say that I am glad that at last AfriCity is holding in Nigeria. <laughs> and I'm very privileged to be here. As you know and I know, Africa has the youngest population in the world. Such a huge number of young uh, people is an opportunity for the continent's growth. I can assure you that this uh, few five days, six days thereabout, uh, is going to be an high opening experience for you. Uh, you are going to learn together during this session, but something you must remember is that whatever you do here, the reinforcement you do in your country on going back is the most important uh, thing we want to achieve. Enjoy the AFISAGE sessions and please do have fun, interact, learn. And don't forget to visit Abuja and have fun. There's more to life in Abuja. The theme that caught my attention online is the African Union's data policy framework. I would like to state that African countries have realized the huge potential of a robust digital economy to create new business opportunities, increase efficiency, contribute to sustainable development, and reshape the people's life. What has prompted me to apply for the African School on Internet Governance is firstly the impact that previous alumni has had on policy recommendations as it relates to internet governance in Africa and just the overall impact of the project. What I like most about the school is the, the practical aspect of it because we have to go through the AU data policy framework, uh, understand the key uh, areas and we've been also grouped into several uh, sections. Um, generally I came here to talk to the participants about the Africa data policy framework and um, we've walked through it and um, we've had some very um, interesting discussions around the data policy framework and myself i've also learned quite a lot from different people um, from different participants going forward i'm really looking forward to incorporating some of these angles and learnings from each and we have the government we have the technology the business and other stakeholders uh, at the regional level and at the continental level so this stakeholders come together to bring up their expertise and to be able to solve uh, that problem and I hope that through the deliberations we will bring to some extent uh, solutions that we need uh, in Africa. When we talk about the issues of gender digital divide needs to be put into consideration and needs to be addressed by the different governments and the different players offer the internet. We already have a digital gap globally, so the global north seems to be leading in the digital space. We need to stop seeing the internet as a threat. And my call to action is for the different governments to localize this framework and to implement it as per the guideline provided by the African Union. There were a lot of issues that were discussed during the course of these days that we've been here, but I think one issue that has stood out for me is the issue of cybersecurity and how that relates in the African context, especially considering that we do not have a lot of protections and mechanisms in place that can effectively deal with the challenges that cybersecurity comes with. African governments need to take the issue of digital rights as a very important issue and they need to consider making sure that the digital rights space is uh, human-centered and human rights are respected. How can we ensure that data flows freely from country to country? But the second question was, how can we build a trusted data environment? This capacity building must go beyond just members of parliament, but also focus on the technical staff in the various houses of legislature. And the fact that if ECOWAS as a region is able to build an overarching framework for the West African countries, it then allows the individual countries and parliaments to plug in so that our data policies communicate and are all linked to the AU policy. As we talk about this data flow, as we talk about this framework, for data to exchange from one place to the other. I was talking to the guys in Nepal. If data flows and human beings cannot flow behind the data, the data will not make any meaning. 
I think the biggest issue is digital inequality. I think that until our governments actually really take it seriously, that everyone needs access and they need skill, they need digital literacy, media literacy, they need data literacy, and they need affordable and meaningful connectivity. Most of the countries have the same pains and same issues. The access to information, for instance, is, is extremely important. But the most important thing that we need all to understand that it is extremely important to have this data uh, framework going to light. I have really learned a lot on what internet is all about because without a proper understanding would have been difficult for me as a legislator also to influence the drafting and the implementation and the speeding of the process. What inspired me to be part of the training was um, first of all the testimony from my colleague who have participated in 2016 mm -hmm. and when I went through the rich curriculum that is um, that made up the school um, library mm -hmm. it motivated me and inspired me to be part of this training. I think the collaboration is very important to uh, have people better who knows about the various challenges and the solution available for a better use of the internet on the continent. What has really gotten me um, excited is um, topics on artificial intelligence, topics on uh, digital inclusion and digital rights. I saw it as an opportunity to change the narrative and the status quo um, in understanding more about the internet and how I can also help uh, the users that engage with the internet. I would really encourage uh, the leaders to look into the concept of internet universality and adopt uh, the, uh, the tool implemented or uh, proposed by UNESCO, Internet Universality Indicators and Bromex Indicators. Digital inclusion, uh, cyber security, these are right now the key things that we are grappling with. Uh, within the ecosystem, within the context, in the African context. Uh, and I feel it's a conversation that we need to take it up and actually action. The internet governance is more of the, the protocols, how we take the internet, how we can use the internet. So under, understanding the data governance and how it works. It builds understanding of, of the role of different stakeholders, it builds friendships and I think it, it facilitates a more inclusive, open approach to addressing the challenges that we are facing in Africa.